so we have seen that um, how to convert uh, base 16 uh, to base 2 now there is a time to see how to convert uh, base 16 and base 8 so you are having a hexadecimal number now you want to convert that hexadecimal number into octal number so how to cut so first you take uh, input that is a hexadecimal number that is 3a9f this is a hexadecimal number base is 16 now you make 3 so you replace 3 with the 4 bit num uh, four binary bit number that is 0011 so you can represent 3 hexadecimal in this 4 bit way now you represent a in 1010 form 9 in 1001 form and f in 111 okay now you want to convert this hexadecimal into octal number so during that time you group uh, from lsb to msb 3 first 3 bit you group so this is 7 after that next 3 bit you group that is 3 then you group next 3 that is 2 then you group these 3 that is 4 uh, and you group next 3 that is 3 and rest you leave as zero at, as it is so you see the grouping of 3 before that in hexadecimal case we are having a groups of 4 bits now after that we have to group in bits of the in 3 bits okay so now what is this 7 3 2 5 3 so this is the resultant of Uh, this is the equal uh, this is the result this is the octal result 335237 is the octal result of 3a9f hexadecimal number so what are the step convert from base 16 to ba base 2 so first they are converting the hexadecimal number into binary number regroup bits into groups of 3 starting from the right after that you have to regroup that bits uh, you have to start from the right means you have to start from the lsb side then ignore leading zero you see here one uh, zero is there right this is a leading zero you should ignore these things now each group of the three bit form an octal digit so you have formed three three groups right three bit groups so each group will form a octal digit so that is what they are trying to say from this uh, how to convert between uh, hexadecimal to octal now addition binary addition is very simple this is the so describing the functional uh, circuit functionality inverter so we know that this is a symbol of an inverter right so uh, what what this inverter objective is when we are giving input as 1 it should give your output as 0 when we are giving input as 0 it should give you an output of 1 so one truth table they have shown so whenever we are designing a combination circuit it's better if we implement a truth table for that then we'll commit less mistakes so basic logic function have symbols so these are the symbols now the same functionality can be represented with truth tables so same functionality which the symbol is telling you can implement in form of truth table so truth table completely specify output for all the input combinations so this is the input this is the output so for input combination you are getting some outputs right so that is what they are trying to say from this the above circuit is an inverter and input of 0 is inverted to 1 and input of 1 is inverted to 0 same what i explained about with the symbol before itself you take example of an and gate so a and b are the input and y is an output so you are implementing a truth table so a and b is the input so when both the input is zero your output is zero when one input is zero and other is one even that case is zero when a is one b is zero zero when both are one then only you can get an active high output at y terminal so this is what they have uh, explained you about uh, and gates okay now coming to the or gates so or gate you have seen here so when both the inputs are zero it's zero when any one of the input is one you will get the high output so this is the functionality of the or gate so if either of the two input signals are asserted or both of them the output will be asserted so this is the functionality of the or gate now we are explaining uh, uh or uh, and gate in terms of waveform how to explain the uh, those things now you see a waveform they have seen two inputs x and y so if we are performing and operation so one into one and if both the inputs are zero you are getting zero if one input is zero you should get zero now both the inputs are one in that case you will get one here your one input is zero and other is one so you will get zero so here also you will get zero so they have shown uh, the functionality of and gate in terms of waveform now you see the functionality of or gate in form of waveform 
when both are zero output is zero when any of out is one you will get one here also you will get one one and you will get zero so waveform provide another approach for representing the functionality so what they are trying to say from this signal is uh, another way you can explain the things explain the functionality of any gate with the help of uh, waveform so waveform is one more way to explain the functionality of the or gate value are either high or lo low so you will get either zero or one so can you create a truth table from the waveform so is it possible to create a truth table from the waveform yeah is it, it is possible so when you're forcing zero zero so your output is zero so you keep on uh, forming these things so, so the thing is they are trying to say is from waveform also you can debug the things you can uh, find out the functionality of your circuit not only in case of AND kit even in case of big projects if you are having in specification and you are having some uh, waveforms there so by seeing at that waveform you can derive the functionality now coming to the exclusive OR gate so exclusive OR gate uh, functionality is when any one of the input is 1 during that time your output is 1 either your output is 0 so this is an XOR gate XOR gate assert their output that exactly one of the inputs so when any one of the input is 1 I, uh, as I explained you before itself during that time your output is 1 so the switching algebra symbol for this operation is this that is 1 1 is 0 1 and 0 is 1 so this is an XOR gate now coming to the XNOR gate so XNOR gate means when any one of the input is 1 during that time you will get output as 0 okay either you will get output as 1 so this function is as an exclusive NOR gate and simply the complement of the XOR gate so you can also say the comp XNOR gate as a complement of XOR gate so the switching algebra symbol for this operation is so the symbol they have shown for uh, XOR, XNOR gate is this 